So my conviction is, if we take preventive measures, we will make a big difference to the spread of the virus in India for sure, and actually anywhere in the world. Hi, Himanshu. Welcome to Brand Studio Live. Uh, to start off in the backdrop of the coronavirus outbreak, uh, what should businesses be doing uh, to gear up? I mean, what are the prevention measures that they should be taking? Um, I always say this. It's much easier to kill a microbe outside the body than inside the body. And that's exactly what's happening with corona. Somebody, somewhere, hygiene did not get maintained. We didn't handle the stuff in the right manner. And it passed on to humans. And that's how it passes from one to the other. So my conviction is, if we take preventive measures, we will make a big difference to the spread of the virus in India for sure, and actually anywhere in the world. What are those measures? Keep maintain a distance, minimize contact, hand to hand, body to, you know, next to each other, but you can't avoid in public transport. In a public transport, make sure you wear a mask so that your breathing stays with you and you, you're not contaminating the rest of the uh, space. Um, make sure that you, since you touch a lot of surfaces, you keep using a hand sanitizer on the go when you get a chance, wash your hands and then use a sanitizer because hand washing is not enough. Classical alcohol sanitizers are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Anything with more than 60% alcohol works. So it doesn't need to be, it's not brand specific. It can be any brand which you can go use a mask because uh, it doesn't transmit by air so easily. It transmits through aerosol, which comes out of, you know, when you're speaking. And those aerosols will get stopped even by a simple three-ply surgical mask. Very basic hygienic, uh, what you need to manage. Mm -hmm. And what is Diverse India doing to spread awareness about this? We're talking to all our customers. See, we are a B2B company. Right. So uh, mm. you won't see us in public media. But we are talking to all our customers. We are conducting webinars on how to manage the outbreak. We are seeing how to isolate. We are providing the products and solutions. Like an alcohol sanitizer, we are gearing up to supply five, ten times of what we normally would supply. Only to our customers, not... And, and the awareness has mm -hmm. gone up. So, uh, talking about technology, you know, uh, everybody is talking about digital transformation and about how data is the new oil. So, uh, how is Diversity India leveraging data to stay ahead of the curve? And uh, if you can share some uh, interesting insights that you have gleaned in respect to So, we are, this. We are, we are in our, on a journey on data. We are in an early stage. Mm -hmm. uh, our strength in the country primarily has been around our closeness to our customers. So we have a person in every part of the country and we can service any customer within 24 hours. We get our insights from them by talking to them and most of the cases we have gone and found their unfelt needs, a need which they did not feel we felt mm -hmm. and we went and converted. So we've been typically high of the curve. Now's the time as we try to access the fragmented hygiene market. As we try to go there, we need a map. So we are working with a startup company, I won't take the name right now, we're trying them to help us map this and see which is the right place for us to place our distribution points, what is the right place for us to do an education seminar, where should we do a road show, where should a van go, where should a person go. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are trying to understand. We are in very early stages, so I won't say we are using data in a big way, but I see data playing a very important role in our lives in less than six months' time. Okay, so from what I know, Diversity also runs a number of CSR programs. So tell us more about that. Uh, we run uh, two large programs. Mm -hmm. One is called Garima and the other is called Soap for Hope. Mm -hmm. Soap for Hope is a global program. Garima is uh, tailored to Indian needs. And Soap for Hope is encouraging our customers to recycle their soap into reusable soap in a hygienic manner and take it to the lo lesser privileged people in the world. There are slums and ghettos everywhere of various kinds. People don't have access to, um, you know, washing hands. And so we started this program in India about three years back. Okay. And uh, I think we would have uh, distributed more than five to eight lakh soaps to s kids, families. The second program is much more intense for India. We've trained almost 25,000 people under that program and got across them employed India. across India. Hmm. And that program is about Garima, dignity for the cleaner. 
and we call them hygiene technicians instead of calling them a janitor or a, off, a cleaner or the worst words of our past, give them dignity. We teach them a scientific way of cleaning. So they'll know just rubbing, just taking a mop from here is not enough. You need mm -hmm. to take it in a manner, you need to wash it frequently, otherwise it won't clean. We teach them the right way to maintain the assets, which is what our customer needs is. Very high social impact. Customers appreciate it. Those people love it. And I think it's a fantastic win-win.